welcome to gpstr ctt channel friends uh, in this video we are discussing karnataka tt 2021 science paper 2 in that today in this video i am discussing 10 questions in remaining 10 questions i will uh, discuss in another video in that first we, we will see identify the correct statement among the following with first option g is constant g varies g is constant g varies both are constant both are variables as you know that g is a universal gravitational constant at value 6.674 into 10 to the power minus 11 newton meter square per kg square and small g is nothing but acceleration due to gravity as it names indicate is a gravitational constant it, it not varies but this small g is acceleration due to gravity it varies as you know that acceleration due to gr gravity in poles is uh, more and in equator g values less and uh, at the same time uh, if you from our surface you go downside inside uh, uh, to the earth crust that time also g value decreases from our surface if you move away uh, in higher level that time also g value decreases like this g value varies so option uh, one is correct capital G is constant small g is varies next a cyclist uh, riding on a circular path with constant speed 22 meter per second he takes 7 seconds to complete one round then find the radius of path simply we are what we have to do they have given uh, in one second he is covering 22 meter right in 7 second he is he, they are telling that he will complete one circular path means as you know that the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r means one round uh, it is 2 pi r that is 2 pi r means it's uh, they have given 154 meter we have calculated in 7 second it's 154 meter because 7 into 22 means 154 and 2 pi r is 154 meter radius is on calculating we will get 24.5 meters option a this also is the question Cricket ball of mass 500 grams and tennis ball of mass 250 grams are moving with same velocity then which of the following statement is true? For this option is A. Cricket ball is having maximum momentum because momentum means it's a mass into velocity. Here they have given both are both balls are moving with same velocity but the only factor that is varying here is mass and as you know that from this relation uh, Momentum and mass both are directly proportional. If mass is more, momentum is also more. For the this reason explains uh, cricket ball its mass is 500 grams compared to that of tennis ball having 250 gram mass. So cricket ball having more mass, therefore its momentum also great. Therefore answer is cricket ball having maximum momentum. Next, this is an easy question. Uh, SI unit for frequency and wavelength they have asked for frequency SI unit is hertz or per second for wavelength it's in meter uh, decibel is for sound and candela for luminous intensity this uh, we have to find power of a lens to find pi diopter its focal length as you know that the focal length is 1 by power 1 by power means 2.5 diopter as you know how, as you have to know that 1 diopter is per meter Per meter, meter means in centimeter if you convert it's a one diopter is equal to 10 to the power minus 2 per centimeter so 2.5 2.5 in diopter in place of diopter we place 10 to the power minus 2 per centimeter at that time we'll get 40 centimeter so answer is option a next identify the character of a human eye used in cinematography accommodation persistence of vision least deviation a uh, least distance of a uh, distinct vision all of these characters for this answer is persistence of a vision persistence of a vision is eyes ability to keep seeing an image of an object for a fraction of second after the object has disappeared from view persistence of a vision of a human eye is 1 by 16 second means Persistence means if you see any image for how many it how much uh, time it will be in your eye that uh, persistently 
that means that uh, indicates a persistence of a vision so answer is a second persistence of a vision this is an easy question the correct relation is uh, v is directly proportional to i as you know that is a ohm's law the current is flowing through a conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference across these two ends so option uh, for this answer is uh, you know that v is directly proportional to i v is equal to r r is uh, v by i here current is directly proportional to potential difference and also current is inversely proportional to resistance so answer is 4 next when rectangular copper coil is rotated in a magnetic field the direction of induced current changes how many time how many after how many rounds as you know that it's based on a Fleming's rule in that it will tell us the direction of induced current varies once every half revolution when a rectangular coil is rotated in a magnetic field as a consequence a current in coil continues to flow in the same direction guys it's based on a uh, I think Fleming's left hand rule so I offered after every half rotation induced current when placed in magnetic field it uh, rotates of uh, after every half rotation this this you have to remember the metal used as a protective layer upon iron in the process of galvanization means zinc zinc galvanization process means simply uh, on iron or steel plate uh, zinc protecting layer is uh, uh, we we do zinc protecting layer to avoid it from rusting so answer is zinc the main properties of a good help gold helps to help the goldsmith to make ornaments gold means it should be always lustrous and also it should be having ductility what I will explain lustrous means it should be shiny of course we want it gold to be a lustrous a sonorous we don't want it to be son, uh, sonorous sonorous means a uh, capable of producing a deep ringing sound we don't want a ringing sound right uh, ductility means uh, the ability to be stretched into a wire without breaking of course for uh, gold we have to make it in a wire form right that's why it should answer should be lustrous and ductility and malleability we don't want right the malleability means the ability to be beaten metals into thin sheets we don't want any thin sheets we want a uh, gold it in a lustrous and ductile manner right so option is a then which of the following statement is correct about an aqueous solution of an uh, acid and a base guys this is the last question uh, remaining nine question i will explain in the next video uh, here one thing we have to know the ph scale if you know ph scale this question you can easily solve in pH scale what will happen this is a reading of 1 to 14 pH values if pH is 7 it is neutral if uh, uh, 1 to 6 it for acidity uh, acidic uh, pH and 8 to 14 the for basic pH as you know that from this diagram we can you see the arrow marks uh, from if pH values goes on increasing from 6 to 1 the acidity of, of uh, uh, acidity increases but in basicity uh, from 8 to 14 if value increases then basicity also increases see here acidity is inversely proportional to ph basicity is directly proportional to ph that means lower ph means stronger acid higher ph means weaker acid for base lower ph means weak base higher ph means strong base from this uh, solution what we have to and what we have understood higher the pH weaker the acid higher the pH weaker the acid because it's a inversely proportional option 2 is right similarly option 3 lower the pH weaker the base yes of course basicity is directly proportional to pH if pH is less basicity also less so option 2 and 3 are the correct answers guys I have discussed the 11 questions and remaining 9 questions in the next video I will discuss Please subscribe to my channel GPSTR CTT. Thank you, friends.